class of organisms belonging to kingdom plantae they are called as pteridophytes okay now these pteridophytes they are seedless vascular plants that have sporophytic and, and different to be inconspicuous okay now the type of vascular tissues that are present here would be lacking xylem vessels in case of xylem and would be lacking companion cells in case of phloem you have to understand that these are the first pioneer organisms that indicate a true vascular system so far okay the sporophytes they bear sporangia like structures that form cone shaped bodies okay now these spores they germinate they reproduce via meiosis and they form spore mother cells which then later on germinates to produce a multicellular thallus like structure the gametophytes they bear male and female sex organs and they are respectively called as antheridia and archegonia like discussed earlier and most of the pteridophytes they produce similar kinds of spores and hence these organisms they are called as homospores but exception to these homosporous pteridophytes we also have certain heterosporous pteridophytes that lead to the formation of male and female spores that is megaspores and microspores okay and these pteridophytes they can be termed as selaginella and salvinia as a example for these species the next category that we will be discussing is gymnosperms now in case of gymnosperms the ovaries they are exposed before and after fertilization which means they are naked okay so these organisms they are mostly perennial that is they grow throughout the year they are woody bushy plants that have varying sizes so we have two examples in our ncrt that is sequoia semperverens and zamia pygmaea you can observe this particular plant that is sequoia plant sequoia species they are extremely tall okay woody perennial bushy plant and the next category would be the smallest plant in this particular classification that is zamia pygmaea okay now the stem of these plants they can either be branched in case of cypress plant and they can either be unbranched like finest plants okay a fine tree the roots that are observed they are mostly tap root systems they are not fibrous they are tap root systems and the leaf can either be simple form or they can be compound leaves that have multiple pinna okay the heterosporous producing spores okay they can be of two type microspore and megaspore microspore for male and megaspore for female and the gametophytes so formed as a result of fertilization they are not independent and free living they are associated with the plant okay the pollination occurs via air and the zygote that is developed it develops in the form of embryo and ovules that they develop into seeds but what you have to consider here is that the seeds are naked okay the examples for this particular classification would be pine tree cypress tree cedrus tree and ginkgo the examples for which are given here Okay, so this is your pine tree, this is your cypress tree, and this is the ginkgo tree. Thank you so much. That's it for this module. See you again in the next module.